Hello? I'm sorry to knock so late. I just heard the crying through the wall and I wanted to check. Uh. Is it... Would you like me to... Hug you back? All right. Please let me know if the feeling of my arms makes you uncomfortable. I know some people find them off-putting. Was it a nightmare? It's all right. You're safe now. You're awake, and whatever happened in your dream can't happen right now. I'll help make sure of it. Right now, your body is still reacting to what happened in your nightmare, so everything feels pretty overwhelming. It'll pass, I promise. Everything's okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to upset you by pulling away. Here. There's no need to apologize. I understand. Sometimes, after an experience like a nightmare, it's nice to be held. I can hold you as long as you'd like. I just wanted to see if you'd like to sit on your bed instead of standing. Especially since you seem to be shaking. I think it might be best if you sit down. Be careful not to fall. The adrenaline from the nightmare must be wearing off, leaving you exhausted again. If you're alright with it, could I carry you to your bed? All right. If you'd like, you can wrap your arms around my neck. Is setting you down here okay? Please, take whatever time you need to recover. Oh, yes. If you'd like, I can hold you again. What? You find my arms comforting? I've never been told that before. Uh, again... I'm sorry for knocking so late at night. I was up late studying and heard you crying through the walls. I guess they didn't build these college dorms with soundproofing in mind. I duplicated some ears to make sure I was hearing right. And you sounded really upset. So, I thought it would be best to knock and... See if I could help at all. I'm glad I can help provide comfort. Is there anything I can do to make things more comforting? Here, I can wrap these blankets around us. And if you'd like, you're welcome to lean on me. You must be tired. Would you like to talk about what happened in your nightmare? I also understand if you're still too overwhelmed to speak much. Nightmares can be a lot for the senses to handle. Ah, well... I get nightmares as well. 
they're not as bad anymore. Nowadays, I only have them occasionally. They used to be more frequent. As a hero in training, nightmares are, unfortunately, pretty common. Fortunately, we have access to professionals who can help us through whatever troubles us. I've gotten a lot of help that way. But still, the things take time to heal. And some nights I'm back inside a half-demolished building, or a dark forest. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk this much. If it's bothering you, you can just nod your head. Oh. I'm glad it doesn't. I think I just find it easier to talk to you. And here, in the dark of your room with these soft blankets around us, and how quiet it is at night, it feels safe. Does it feel that way for you as well? I'm glad. It makes me really happy to know you trust me to care for you in times like these. I have trouble when it comes to getting close to people. But ever since we met, You've made it incredibly easy to feel at ease around you. I'm grateful we were assigned to be roommates. To be honest, I was a bit worried about how other students would feel when it came to sharing a dorm with me. <laughs> but you... The first time you saw me without my mask, you didn't even flinch. Not many react to my face with a smile. So when you did, I knew I was with someone I could trust to be a good friend. I hope I've been able to make you feel the same way. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. It seems like the late night studying is catching up with me. If you're tired too, I can let you go back to sleep and go back to my dorm, if you'd like. Oh, you're sure you're comfortable with me laying here with you? No, no, I don't mind at all. I want to make sure you feel safe enough to fall back asleep. And if my presence helps you with that. I'm just worried that, well, I might fall asleep too. I wouldn't want to make you uncomfortable. But if you're okay with it, we can lay here together. I can adjust my arms however you need. You know... I've often held people in my arms, carrying them to safety during missions. But I've never just held someone like this before. It's really nice. But maybe that's because it's with you. I find your presence really comforting as well. If it's okay with you, could I take off my mask? It's comfortable, but I don't like to wear it while I sleep. <sighs> Thank you. Are you tired? How are you feeling?
Oh, sure. You're welcome to get as close as you like. Is there anything you do to help you fall asleep? Or anything I could do to help? Oh. You playing with my hair like that feels nice. I thought I was supposed to be comforting you, though. If it calms you, you're more than welcome to. Having my hair touched like this is new, but I really like it. <sighs> I could play with your hair as well, if you'd like. Or rub circles on your back. Actually, I could do both. If you're comfortable with me using my quirk to create more arms besides the ones holding you. I know the process isn't something everyone likes. Is like this alright then? <sighs> it seems it's helping, as you aren't really keeping your eyes open. It's okay. Go ahead and fall back asleep. You're safe. And if the nightmares come back, you can always wake me up. I'll be right here. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, it's Pro Hero Tentacle. If you like more audios like this one, you can subscribe to Anagomi here on YouTube. If you like something custom, you can always commission an audio at anagomi.com slash commissions. For adults, there's patreon.com slash anagomi. The audios there are different from the ones here on YouTube. I hope you enjoy everything Anagomi has to offer. I hope to see you next time.